Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go over how to set up a Wirecast with the basic camera, audio, and bumper layer. So let's get started. So once you're in your new composition, the first thing that I normally do is add in the assets that I'm going to be using. So for example, the first layer would normally be like the, the little bumpers, the second layer is your video, and the third layer is the audio. Let's go ahead and add in a something real quick to there. Let's add a nice little bumper in there. It's just a little bumper for our church. And then on the second layer is going to be whatever your video source is, which we're using video coming from our web presenter. So go ahead and click that, click add. So once that's added, you'll see it automatically pops you straight into these settings. Um, so what I would do is make sure your video frames per second matches whatever you want to output. So we're going to switch that to 30. And then you have your transition properties, which you probably won't be using. The chroma key is if you're going to use the internal chroma key on Wirecast, which we're actually using the Atom Studio, so we don't need to use this, which will save CPU power. Um, volume doesn't matter because there's no volume. Then you have all your other settings, so color correction, if you want to do some color correction. And then on the third layer down here, we'll just go ahead and add audio capture. And we'll add it from the web presenter as well. And then from there, you have your audio. So that way, if you want to have a music track going before someone else starts talking, you can do that. And then it'll actually mute the normal audio. And then of course, inside of here, you have all the other settings, same exact settings pretty much, but only when, because it's audio, you'll only be using the audio channel. So on your bumpers though, the one thing that I would make sure you mess, you change is if you pull up the properties, come over here to the three little dots, you're probably gonna want, at least for mine, when it's done, I want it to hold at the last frame because I have it stuck at this, this layer here so I can go through, do its little animation, come back, stop. And then I always uncheck the remember position when even not live because otherwise if you play this like halfway through and then you stop and you make it not live when you play it the next time it'll start straight from that spot which isn't always a good thing that's pretty much all that you need to do to set up the scene after that you can just hit stream record whatever you're wanting to do just make sure you set up your output settings first otherwise it's not going to work obviously and one other little quick thing if you want to make a bunch of layers live at once you can just go ahead and click on them and then when you hit this it'll automatically make all of those layers live rather than just the one so like when you're done if you want to make it all fade to black at the same time you can click every single layer and then hit that and it'll clear it all thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to click the like subscribe leave us a comment if you have any questions and we will see you next time